So, Battlefield 2042 is finally out and the performance for the game has really been increased since the open beta, but honestly is not even close to where it should be. But this was pretty much the case for every Battlefield launch ever and in today's video I want to give you guys a quick guide to help you achieve maximum frame rate and performance even on lower end PCs. Keep in mind that this might not work, this game is broken when it comes to optimization, but I will still give this a try because any extra FPS in this game it's well worth Welcomed. First of all, we're gonna start with the NVIDIA control panel and on the screen right now I will put the absolute best settings I could find for NVIDIA users. Keep in mind that this only works on NVIDIA graphics cards. If you have an AMD, I would recommend using everything that gives you high performance. Next, open Windows settings, go to gaming and disable game bar. After that, go to game mode and make sure you turn that on. Another thing you can do is go to the search bar, search for graphics settings as seen in the video, make sure you turn hardware accelerated GPU on, browse for the game and set it to high performance. Another quick thing you can do is go to where you installed the game, right click on BF2042, select properties, go to compatibility mode and set disable full screen optimization. After that, click on change high DPI settings and select override high DPI scaling and hit apply and OK as shown in the video. Next up, we're going to move to the game files and this is where things will get interesting because this will give the most FPS boost out of everything. All you have to do is go to your documents, open Battlefield 2042, then go to settings and then proof safe underline profile and then open with notepad. All you have to do is here is search for shadows. They are located at the bottom and make sure you set them at zero. Next, search for DirectX 12 and set that to 1 instead of 0. It seems to give you a lot better GPU usage, which this game really lacks of. Another huge thing that really helped me a lot when it came to FPS was DRS enable. Uh, you will want to set that to 1. It seems to stable the FPS a lot and that really helped me and hopefully that works for you as well. Make sure you toggle that on and off by pressing 0 or 1 to see how it works for you. All right, after you're done with all of this, we can finally move to in-game settings. Here, you want to set the resolution to wherever you have at your desktop and put the refresh rate to the maximum. After that, make sure you turn everything off, including motion blur. FOV is personal preference, but setting it to the highest actually gives you more FPS, which is kind of weird, but this is how things work in Battlefield 2042. Now to the actual graphical settings. Turn custom on and turn everything to low except mesh quality, which can, you can set to high, and textures as well if you have more than 4 gigs of VRAM. Keep in mind that if you still have problems, make sure you turn the textures and mesh quality to the lowest as possible as well. After that, make sure you turn VSync off and render future frame is on. Also for render resolution, you can try to play around with that. For me personally, it does nothing, but you never know. Maybe for you, it works. DLSS should be off because right now from what I've tested, it makes the game look a lot worse and will cause more FPS drops than extra. That's pretty much everything you can do for the settings. If you still have problems, I suggest turning everything to the lowest as possible, even lower the resolution a bit to help you with the FPS. Hopefully a patch will come soon. Also, I put in the description some in-game commands that I used in a previous video in the beta and actually it helps some of the people. Keep in mind that some of these will crash your game, so make sure you try them first before you start searching for matches. I do hope that all of this will help you achieve some better FPS and uh, give you some uh, better overall performance, let's say. For me, it actually worked, especially the DirectX 12 and DRS option set to on in-game files. So that's it for today, guys. We still have to wait for some optimization patches. Hopefully that comes on day one on November 19th with a day one patch, but we'll see. If these settings help you, make sure you comment below and if you have anything to add, I'm all ears. Thank you all for watching, make sure to hit the like to help with the algorithm and subscribe for more and I'll see you in the next one.